Hello everybody, this is Eric Chang. Uh, I was poking around on the web the other day and I saw something that um, I thought would be really amazing for using Lightroom. And it's um, a plugin called Knob Room and it's at knobroom.com. And um, this was two nights ago and I, I got really excited. I went on the web looking for MIDI control services and I found uh, this one. Uh, it's by DJ Tech Tools and it's a uh, called the MIDI Fighter Twister. Uh, it's $219 and uh, I placed an order for it two nights ago. It showed up at my place today. Uh, it's really, really cool. It basically allows you to use MIDI control services with knobs um, or um, sliders to control Lightroom. What I've done is download Knob Room from knobroom.com and then I added the plugin to Lightroom by going to Lightroom, going to File, Plugin Manager, and then I clicked on Add, navigate to where your knobroom.lr plugin is, hit Add Plugin, and, and it will add it into the Plugin Manager here. Now you can see knobroom is installed and running. Um, I have not paid the shareware fee yet, but I will uh, very soon. Uh, now you have to do all of the MIDI mapping here. So you can see here are these um, continuous controls and these are the various channels. And so I've just mapped uh, from 0 to 15, which would be these 16 knobs. And I've given each one of them uh, the function that I would I'd like to control with that knob. Uh, so I hit done. Uh, and now I have to start knob room. And it will ask you uh, what you want to use for MIDI in and MIDI out. I've chosen the MIDI fighter twister for both. Now, once it's started, it only works in develop in the develop module. So I go to the develop module here, and um, I could use my mouse, of course, and change exposure. You notice when I turn these knobs, the uh, various controls in Lightroom move. So the first one I have set to exposure, the second one to contrast, uh, the third and fourth to white balance. Uh, that's temperature and tint. Um, and then I've set this whole next row to control the highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks block. So we might want to bring you know, shadows up. We'll bring the whites down a little bit. Also blacks here. Um, and I've, I've set these next four for uh, highlights, uh, lights, and darks, and shadows, uh, and these parametric controls in the tone curve. And then the last ones I have set to noise reduction for luminance and for color. I think these last two um, are clarity and vibrance. Uh, so it's, it's pretty cool. I actually don't need to use the keyboard anymore for most of the controls that I use, um, at least for uh, overall uh, editing. So, you know, it doesn't um, allow me to control things like. Uh, um, gradients. Um, but again, you can configure this however you want based on the controls you use the most often. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm really tempted actually to get a, a larger MIDI control surface um, because uh, looks it's so useful.